Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. <clears throat> I have been trying all day to get around to making this video. I keep saving this email and I've been trying to knock out, so to speak, you know, a whole lot of others. <laughs> anyway, so I kept forgetting and now I'm determined I'm going to make a video of this because while well, everybody's been focused on the virus, that's my alarm going off telling me to get off of here and pray. Okay, I'll make this quick. It was a Fox News alert that came in my email at 7.22 a.m. Yeah, it's been on here all day. I read it a couple times and I said, I got to make a video of this because it could be important. All right. It's the title of it is U.S. Signs Historic Peace Deal with the Taliban Pompeo Strikes Cautious Tone. Now, there's a little video I could watch, but I just read it. Uh, under the video, it says Pompeo Speaks at the U.S. Taliban Peace Deal Signing. Our president's been so busy doing so much that he had, didn't have time to go over there himself. Okay, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo witnesses the signing of an agreement with the Taliban as part of an effort to bring thousands of U.S. troops home from the 9-11 Afghanistan war. Now... The United States signed a historic peace treaty with Taliban militants on Saturday aimed at ending the 18-year war in Afghanistan that began after the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. Mighty funny how... Uh, they were that. Who's the terrorist? Ingrown home domestic terrorists? The powers that be? Maybe? Oh, who knows? Maybe it really was those five guys that learned how to fly a plane but didn't bother to take the final course where you learn how to land it. That's what we were told. That's what we're supposed to believe. And that great big hole in Pennsylvania that didn't have a single piece of plane in it, nor body, nor even a bone from a human being. Hmm, that's mighty odd, you know, for a plane to burn up that well. Okay, moving on. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo spoke cautiously in front of Taliban leaders in Doha, Qatar, calling the agreement a true test of their commitment to peace. Okay. Veterans react to forthcoming Afghanistan Taliban peace agreement. That's a link you could click on if you wanted to see how the veterans react. Okay, this is a quote. We will closely watch the Taliban's compliance with their commitments and calibrate the pace of our withdrawal to their actions. This is how we will ensure that Afghanistan never again serves as a base for international terrorists, he said. Don't you want to just puke? Sorry, that was inappropriate. Pompeo's arrival in Doha, Qatar, Qatar, Qatar however you say it, on Saturday followed reports that just days earlier he had informed a conference of U.S. ambassadors at the State Department that he was only attending the signing because President Trump has insisted 
on his participation, two people present told the Associated Press. Well, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let a thing be established, right? All right, Rebecca Grant, whoever that is, says, Is war in Afghanistan finally nearing an end? This agreement will mean nothing, and today's good feelings will not last if we don't take concrete actions on commitments and promises that have been made, Pompeo said, seemingly directed at his counterparts. Among those in attendance were leaders of the Taliban who harbored Osama bin Laden and his Al-Qaeda network as they plotted and then celebrated the hijackings of four airliners that were crashed into Lower Manhattan, the Pentagon, and a field in western Pennsylvania killing almost 3,000 people. Well, they killed those people all right. There's That part's most certainly true. I thought it was over 3,000 people. But anyway, as part of the agreement, the U.S. is drawing back a number of the approximately 13,000 troops stationed there, although more than 8,000 will remain. So they're bringing home 13,000, but 8,000, more than 8,000 will remain. Add that up. That's over 21,000 men, women, Men and women have been there all this time. Okay. <laughs> More than 8,000 will remain to ensure certain counterterrorism conditions are met by the Taliban. It's mainstream media for you people. The point is... I ain't going to read any more. I mean, I will not read any more. Here's the thing. U.S. signs historic peace deal. Doesn't it kind of sort of remind you of, and while they're saying peace and safety, sudden destruction will come upon them like a woman in labor? Isn't that how it goes? It just hit me. This article is by Paulina Dita from Fox News. And I'll put this information in the description box if you want to look it up. Oh, and the link up here. That little thing. Okay. What do you think? Does it say, while they say peace and safety... Sudden destruction might come. Well, the Bible says will come. Does it say that to you? Or maybe uh, it just seems that way because of everything that's going on. While they say peace and safety. With that, I'm going to let you go. It's late. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.